This short video is to give you an overview on DualCAD. We're going to start off by drawing a simple solitaire ring and we can start off by using a finger size as a circle and we can offset that circle to give us our thickness at the back of the shank and we can simply do that by telling which side we want the circle to go to and giving it a millimetre size. We can also select a stone which DualCAD has a database of stones and stone shapes and simply changing the sizes um, and deforming them to get different shapes we can create different uh, shaped stones. Now I'm going to draw a bearing for this, a, a rub over and so simply tracing the shape of the stone and giving it some parameters for my cross section to fit onto and selecting a rail function which gives me prompts down the bottom left hand corner to go through that simple step of railing that cross section to that shape. Now my rub over is basically done. I can move my stone into my rub over and move my rub over up onto the finger to my desired height. Now I'm going to select CVs which are the little dots on dual CAD and if I highlight those I can deform and move any shape or curve to get my desired shape. I've done it with the setting to give it a tapered look and now I'm going to adjust the top part of the band to make my height actually nice shape at the top of the band. Now I can move it out to get my width and I'm going to angle it a bit to give it myself a taper before I actually put a cross section on it and I can copy that rail over the other side. Simply go to the database and select my range of cross sections, pick a cross section that I require and now I can rail it again by following the prompts. The basic solitaire shank and setting is done. Now the setting goes through to the finger so I'm going to have to draw a block to cut that away by simply drawing it a cylinder and subtracting it through the head. Now I'm just going to draw a simple cone shape so that there's a hole on the inside of the shank for the, the stone to sit through and the head to sit through and now I've gone to materials and adjusting different colours of gold and stone colours for the customer's approval um, to get it look like the job that they are after. And as simple as changing, going in and changing colours. You can also create your own stones and your own gold and um, things like that to get it more like the customer's job. And that's a simple solitaire. Now I'm going to draw a, a simple cluster um, as a cluster to be made by hand might actually take um, a couple of hours to draw on the bench uh, to make on the bench but it only takes a matter of minutes to draw in dual CAD. Now these are very simple rings that we're just knocking up quickly to give you an idea of how it's how, to, um, how it's made on dual CAD and simply by drawing a bearing and I'm just got that profile and wrapping it around the stone to give us my bearing and then now I'm going to make another stone, a smaller stone and copy that same shape again and going to wrap it around the stone um, to give it my bearing for that and then I'm going to grab my other stone and put it back with this one, my larger one, put them both together and move it into position and I'm going to overlap it so that the stone can actually cut into that centre bearing. And now I'm going to draw a claw, which is as simple as drawing a pipe and piping it for a certain claw thickness that I require. And clicking circular section. And now rolling that claw into position. And clicking cycle copy. And I'll copy it to four quadrants. Therefore, I'm only drawing one claw by saving time by copying them around. Now I'm going to draw a simple curve to draw my wire basket for my outside stones and I'm just going to pipe that as well with my desired thickness and move that to adjust it into position. Now simply by grabbing the stone and that I can use this function that actually copies it around and it automatically works out how many stones will fit around that circle which makes life a lot easier so I don't have to make each one. I'm going to do the one 
and it automatically revolves it around to the desired number of stones. Now I've just grabbed the shank out of the database and I'm fitting this head up into the shank and now I'm going to adjust the shank to fit to that setting simply by grabbing those CVs and moving and manipulating them. I only need to work on one side of the shank. I can delete the other side, copy it back over and that's basically, I might change the width here, make it a bit narrower. That's a simple solitaire that we've drawn up in a number of minutes. Now, dual CAD, I'm just going to show you a couple of different things that are possible on dual CAD. Um, I'll scroll through some simple designs here, some other ideas. So, Parve is uh, obviously possible on dual CAD, so here's an example of that. Um, you can pre make all the grains and that so it's easier for the setter to set. Um, your channel setting, you can have little grooves and all that for it to fit into and things like that. And now I'm going to select a filigree. This is a heart pattern. So they show you that little window. You can draw um, you know, patterns and windows and filigree and side of rings. And it's so symmetrical because you can draw one side of the heart and copy it out to the other side. And then each one you can copy and size down to get them all looking exactly the same. Now this one I'm selecting is got a bit of wire work with it. A bit of Celtic pattern wire work and two-tone. And you can simply subtract the two-tone parts and print them in separate pieces. So it actually can fit nice, easily locking together. This one's another one of filigree. A little bit more involved. As you can see it's got a stamp on the inside. So you can put your logo and your hallmarks inside your rings. Um, and then obviously when you go cast, you don't have to worry about putting it in afterwards. These are some uh, wetters. This one here is a, a one of text in it. Just showing how simple text can make it a job look. And uh, very simple to do in dual cut as well for text, getting it so precise again. Signet rings and things like that. Gents rings are fairly easy to do on dual cut. A uh, couple of options here are some wetters. Here's going to be a Celtic knot that's obviously copied around with a resized bit. And I'll just select another one to show you another idea of what's possible in dual CAD. Rings are one side of dual CAD. Um, obviously, you can draw earrings as well. Uh, here's a huggy that I'm about to show, but there's pendants, um, bangles, and all sorts of things drawn on dual CAD.